Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This reading is going to be for Leo. This is a love reading to see who's coming towards you in love. This is a bonus reading for Leo. And for those who have Leo placement, okay? If you guys are able to see this video, please drop a hand, wave an emoji in the comments. Because my, I'm sorry, my neighbor's dog. Unbelievable. Um, due to a copyright infringement, temporarily, my um, channel is being shadow banned. <laughs> what that means is that it's not circulating as it normally would, the videos, due to the algorithm, okay? What happened was, and I said this in previous videos, is that I was sharing an inspirational post um, from content creators plugging in their information, not taking any credit. And I didn't realize that that's still a violation, okay? I was doing that on the shorts, video shorts. For those of you who follow me, you know. So lesson learned there. Um, the shadow ban will be lifted in October, but I still wanna know who's riding me with me, who's still with me on this. Um, even if I could reach a few of you, that's still amazing to me, you know? Just wanna get these messages out. So if it resonates for you or somebody that you know, please continue, you know, continue to share the video. Thank you guys. Again, drop a hand, wave an emoji, just let me know. Hey, I'm still working with you, Kim. My name is Kim, <laughs> okay? Thank you guys, I appreciate your support. And for those who are returning, thank you for your unwavering support of my channel. Time is fluid, so any time that you press play is the time for you to receive these messages, okay? Show me the messages for Leo, what does Leo need to see in love? Who's coming towards Leo in love? Who's coming towards Leo in love? Also, if the video resonates and you're interested in a personal reading, click the link in the description box below, okay? So, I'm gonna pull some signifiers from this awful deck. So, this is going to tie this reading together. Wow, I love these cards already. Oh, wow. The overall energy of this reading is moving on, okay? That's the overall energy in this reading. Moving on. So let's put that here. I have success and growth. Being crowned by love. There's a partnership here. That's crowning success and growth. So this is awesome. Very positive. Take the lead. Someone's um, being asked to take the lead. Being crowned by coming together. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Observe. Something's requiring someone's attention here. Being crowned by word deserved reward. This is a wish fulfillment, guys. Okay. So something is requiring someone's attention here in order to get to their Nine of Cups energy, their wish fulfillment is, co is connected to something that requires their observation. All right? So we're going to go into the tarot and see what these signifies are all about. Okay? Show me who's coming towards Leo in love. Who's coming towards Leo in love? Just drop the deck, guys. Show me the messages for Leo in love. This is a great start, Leo. There's definitely love here for you. Show me the messages. Okay. All right, um, I have a lot of air energy here, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or someone who has those signs in their chart. It's like someone's trying to let go of a connection that they're in, like really trying to release themselves from it um, mentally. We're going to see if this is a physical thing to do, but I feel like just mentally that you are in someone's energy, you're connected to someone still here, and you're trying to release yourself from this person. 
but there is some sort of resistance with the sword, the six of swords reversed here. It's like someone's having a trouble, someone's having a hard time moving on. That could be you or your person, but someone is releasing the, their person because with the ten of swords, it's like whatever happened between you and the person that you were connecting with, there was some sort of betrayal there. Someone feels stabbed in the back by the other person. And it was like, I get like there was some sort of confrontation. It was arguing. There were bad words being tossed back and forth, putting each other down or, or you putting your person down. It was rock bottom. Like it was drama. I feel energy of somebody feel like they're hitting a wall with their person. And whatever happened, it was like, it was a severed tie. Like that was a nail in the coffin. And, and I feel like that's you with the eight of swords reverse. Leo, and just like, you know, just releasing yourself from being stuck with this person, stuck in their energy. You're trying to find solutions to your, you know, the just trying to find solutions to the challenges you've been through and just releasing this person. But someone here with the Six of Swords reversed is still having a hard time letting go. I feel like that may be your person having a hard time letting go. Um, and it's it's like this person, like I said, you were betrayed by this person is being crowned by the sun reverse. That's your energy, Leo. Um, it's just like someone here has unrealistic expectation here. Their ego is involved. Okay. And it's like, how could you feel like there's still a chance? You know what it is? I feel like this with this Leo, this is your energy, Leo, the sun reverse. It is a Leo energy anyway. But I feel like you feel like your person's expectations is unrealistic and again their egos involved they miscarry this connection and you're like that was it like you you went too far i feel like this person did too much like you were like whoa you took it to too you took it way too far this time for those who's resonated with this reading so far you know what this is about the situation could be um different for all of you because this is a collective as to what this betrayal was we'll dive deeper into the messages but I feel like your person's having a hard time letting go. And you're like, yo, like, you miscarried this connection. For some of you, you might have even miscarried from this person. Or decided to terminate a pregnancy. Very specific message. But you're like, I went through all of this. And you think that that's not enough. For some of you, even if you didn't have the miscarriage or... The abortion, it could have been someone else. We're going to find out if there's a third party in here. With the death card, though, I see someone going through a spiritual transformation, like just trying to really strip themselves away from this person. I feel like that's you. That's your energy. You could be connecting with a Scorpio. Um, but we're going to see for sure. I don't want to, you know, I'm telling you the energies, but I can't tie it to the person yet because I haven't asked specifically about their feelings. Seven of Cups here, someone has, you know, they're procrastinating. They're trying to make a decision about something that they have. The, it's wishful thinking, whatever they're doing. I feel like that's your person. Your person thinks that they can come back to you after everything that they've done to you with this Ten of Swords. Okay, like they betrayed you. They took it too far, this betrayal. And this person's very cocky. Their ego's in, in play. Um... But they have the audacity, like they're trying to figure out what they can do. Like they're trying to figure out, like they have this illusion of you two still trying to work things out. Almost like it's, I'm getting energy of hallucinating. Like it's unrealistic. It's, it's, it's almost like a hallucination because with the Empress reverse, it's like this person neglected you. There was a lack of growth here. They made you feel insecure. And now that they, they, and they betray you and they're thinking, ah. Oh, let me just try to figure out what I'm going to do now. And you're like, what do you mean? That's not your choice anymore. Yeah. I have the nine of swords here. This person can't sleep. There's a lot of guilt and a lot of regret for what they did. They're focusing on it. This person's like up in their head like, damn, I can't really, I can't believe I even did that. Like, to Leo. They're stressed, they're burdened, they're deeply unhappy. They're like reaching a, a breaking point because of their behavior. With the King of Wands reversed, this person definitely is a liar. This person focused on themselves and their own need. They think about themselves. I'm actually getting some sort of like, you know, player energy. This person was out there dealing with different, you know, different options as far as different, um, 
hookups. They were hooking up with a lot of different people with the, with the Seven of Cups. And then they're still trying to figure out if they can make it work with you. It's crazy. This is, show me this person's feelings. This person's feelings, Julio. Y'all, you, definitely a lot of, again, there's a lot of air energy here. Gemini, um, Libra on Aquarius. All right, this person is bugged out. It's like this person sabotaged this whole relationship with the Five of Swords. And I feel like when when, when y'all got into that the argument where the curse words were thrown, when you confronted the situation, when it came to a head, this person walked off. And they had to know to shut down on you. It's like they ghosted you. And this person tried to intimidate you, I get. Like, they tried to gaslight you when, when everything came out. They tried to make you feel like you were bugging. And they flipped out on you. And then they walked away from you. With this Three of Swords, again, I'm getting a lot of betrayal. This is like, this is a lot of heartache. This person removed themselves from you. But, um... With the emperor, it's like this person now they want to be somebody that you can count on. Like they want to be somebody that offers you stability. Okay, Aries energy. But you know, with the hangman, they're just like they're just uncertain. They don't know what's gonna happen with this connection. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen with Leo. Like, I know. I want to be someone they can count on. Like, I do want to be somebody that they feel safe with. Okay? But at the same time, this is someone who sabotages the connection with the Five of Swords. Show me their feelings. Yeah, Eight of Cups Reverse. This person plans to come back. This person is planning on spinning the block. All right? With the Page of Cups, with some sort of small offer, they may text you, call you, um... They may just show up. They may gift you something. But with the four of um, pentacles, this person hasn't changed. They're still holding on to deep-seated issues that they have. Okay? So just be very aware. They're going to try to come to you like, oh, they want to be, they want you to feel safe with them. They're sorry. They, you know, um, they want to offer you stability. They want to be somebody you could depend on. But they, they, have, they have the same issues that they've always had. All right? So show me Leo's feelings for this person. What is Leo's feelings for this person? You feel like this person is very selfish. Like you can't trust this person. You feel like they're very calculating. Um, and that's what I got with the King of Swords reverse. You're like, this person is selfish. Like, this person looks out for themselves. This person wasn't even considering my feelings, wasn't even considering me when they were doing what they were doing. The Seven of Wands, I see you here being very guarded from this person. Like, you're standing your ground and you're moving forward. With the Five of Pentacles reverse, you're like, you're just going to push through any of these challenges. Like, your faith is restored. You're not feeling insecure anymore, um, Leo. And you're just feeling protective and defensive when it comes to this person. Like, this person tries to come back to you. You're going to hold your own against this person because you don't trust them. With the temperaments reverse, Sagittarius energy, it's like, you know, this person is reckless. You're like, no, nah, like, I'm not fucking with this person. This person can't be trusted. Like, you know to protect yourself. And I love that about you. I said that. Um, you stand on your ground. Will of Fortune reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, you're like, this person just keeps you stuck um, on a repetitive negative cycle. And with this Wheel of Fortune reverse, this is external forces. So something on the outside definitely destroyed this relationship because of your person's lack of control, lack of loyalty. So again, this person definitely stepped out on you, all right? With the Four of Swords reverse, you're just trying to just get out of your isolated energy, your healing, you're trying to get back out there. You're just trying to move forward. You like this is a, just a bad luck. This is bad karma with this person. Show me the challenges for Leo when it comes to this connection. What is Leo's challenges? Ten of Cups reverse. 
this is kind of upside down so the moon reverse yeah your challenges you know there's not a real challenge when it comes to this person i have the moon reverse and the ten of cups reverse it's just like you see the truth about this person the deception was revealed and you see it and you notice it and you like this person is just very dysfunctional this person is very unstable and this person you know they came up in an unstable family and you feel like this person never really had stability they don't know stability they don't they don't they don't understand and respect loyalty and you feel like their upbringing with their childhood traumas or past relationships it's what's it's the reason why you're getting this this version of this person because there is no they don't know any other way that's not an excuse that's a that is an explanation you recognize that this person lacks security and stability because of their upbringing and that's just simply who they are so you're just trying to let this person go like i feel like all the anxiety that you you were feeling about this person when you were with them and you know all the fear about them hurting you you releasing that it's subsiding You've seen the truth about this person and you feel like they're very self-deceptive. So there's no challenge here because you're standing your ground with this person. You see them for who they are and you're moving forward. Okay, with the Queen of Cups reverse, you recognize that you gave and overgave to this person. Like I gave and I gave and I gave. I tried to love this person into loving me and it didn't work, it didn't change. No matter what I said, no matter what I did, this person wasn't willing to show up for me the way I showed up for them. <sighs> what advice do we have? You're already in the Queen of Swords energy, Leo. Your thoughts dominate your feelings when it comes to this person, which is a beautiful thing. And Spirit is like, when this person comes back around, just <clears throat> continue to stand up for yourself. Continue to be guarded from this person. Um, with the world reverse Capricorn energy, it's like this person just, just conti will continue to disappoint you, continue to burden you, continue to try to keep you stuck. All right? So... Just continue like just to move forward with the four of cups reverse that sees a new opportunities letting go of any regret getting out of the stuck energy and <clears throat> just staying strong when it comes to what knowing what you want and what you deserve and i love that for you look at that with the three of cups at the look at this you have there's someone coming in you're going to be getting out um celebrating you may um ex I feel like something connected to invitations, some sort of, it could be a gathering with friends or family. Um, it could just be attending a party or a festival, or um, it could be a, a, a engagement party, a wedding, anything. But there's going to be happier times for you, okay? And this may be connected to you meeting this new person, okay? I love that. You're really trying to move forward. You're like, I'm just not trying to be stuck with this person. I've seen what I needed to see about this person. This person showed me who they were one, one too many times, and I'm letting go. So, you know, you don't, you don't need any advice. You already know. You're in this Queen of Swords energy, and you know that you need, when this comes to this person and them coming around, you're going to stand your guard. You're going to stand your ground. Your your emotions are, gonna, are out of it. This person devastated you, but now you're in a position where you feel emotionally strong enough to, to respond to them logically and not emotionally. And I love that for you. For those of you who have suffered a loss with this person, if you, for those of you who did have a miscarriage or terminated a pregnancy, my heart goes out to you, okay? But again, for some of you, this person got someone else pregnant. Show me more. I don't know, you don't even need any more advice. Um, show me more for the person coming towards the person coming towards Leo in love. And I did see a new beginning. I'm sorry I didn't pull in that card and I saw it at the bottom of the deck when I pulled your challenges that you had a sword ace of wands. There's a new beginning in love, a new passion. Okay. I have two energies here. Okay, as far as who's coming towards you. And when I said show me more, because the lovers is here. There's there's a soulmate coming in, and you're being put to the test, Leo, with the lovers, Gemini energy. There's definitely someone coming in. This is a partnership. This is someone that you're gonna feel um 
that you share the same values with. You're going to feel a sexual connection with them. This is going to be love, okay? But there's a major choice here because there's someone else that's coming in. This person's coming back. But you're going to be tempted to, by this new person. Because again, you're standing your ground. You're very connect, protect, you're very protective of your feelings. You're not with the bullshit. With the seven of swords here, this is that person coming back that's deceptive. This cheater. This person definitely cheated on you. And they want to come back around with no with lack of accountability. Justice reverse. This person is still very corrupt, very dishonest. They don't they're going to try to make it seem as if they're being treated wrong by you. You're not treating them fairly. That kind of shit. Because first they're going to come in like, oh, you know, I just want you to feel safe with me. And when they see that shit is failing, they're going to try to play the victim. Okay? But be careful. This is someone you can't trust. Meanwhile, you have the lovers here. There's a new connection with the queen of, of pentacles. You're very nurturing, very abundant. It's like you, you you use your common sense, Leo. Like you're not gonna let this person bullshit you. Like it's it's not rocket science. You got this. You know, there's a good person. You can you can go on. You're like I can either go on and be with somebody that's gonna be great to me and appreciate who I am, or I can put up with this bullshit. It's not great for you. It's black and white. Show me more for the person coming. Yeah, this person is page of wands reversed. This is this person coming back who's very impetuous and insensitive. They're just, this is just someone who's trying to interfere because you're so alluring and that you're, you have, um, there's something about you that draws people towards you. I get you, you're very attractive. And this person knows, like, damn, like, Leo's going to be with somebody else. So with the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this is this one person wanting to come back with you from your past. Very childish, very immature. Again, this is a test, so be mindful of that. Um, yeah, this person with the Nine of Wands reverse, they're going to be refusing to compromise with you. Very very defensive in a foolish way. Very stubborn. Just, I get your person super stubborn. They want to do things their way. They try to, for a minute, they try to talk to you as if things, you know, they're willing to satisfy your needs, fulfill your needs. They want to make things right. They want you to feel safe. But the moment that you start talking to them about what you require in a relationship, then they, they, they're they refusing to compromise. You see them for who they really are. And then I get you, like, addressing what they did to you and them trying to be foolishly defensive about it. And, you know, again, lacking accountability, but with this Knight of Cups, there's a love offer. There's someone else coming in. This person is taking action. So that's why I said there's two different energies coming towards you in love. This is this is your ideal partner, though. Spirit is like, follow your heart. Because this person is following their heart to you. Okay? <coughs> How will Leo recognize this person? How will Leo recognize this person? I love this. I love that you have this Knight of Cups coming towards you. You will recognize this person once you let go of this past person. This person's coming in. The devil reverse. That's Capricorn energy, okay? This is you, like, releasing this toxic situation. This death card, again, Scorpio energy, going through this trans transformation, purging this person out of your energy, like, stripping them away. Like, they don't serve any purpose in your life. So standing in that energy is what's going to bring in this new person. And you know what? I'm getting a reunion. So for some of you, this is a surprise. Like, you're going to meet this person at a celebration. I'm sorry, I see it. And I feel like this is someone that you knew. From your past they might have grown up in your neighborhood or something um someone that's part of your community something like that they might have you know traveled for work or moved or whatever but this is someone who's coming back and they want to work they want to come together with you and again you might meet them at some uh, uh, some sort of event it may be something like i feel like their family knows your family that kind of thing it's just this community kind of energy I feel like there's this community spirit kind of thing here. And I, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be like a beautiful surprise. The strength here, that's your energy, Leo. When you, when you, um, you're you going to meet this person, this this whole transition, because that's how you recognize this person, when you're feeling your strongest, 
when you're feeling this, when you overcome all your self-doubt, like staying your strength, when you're feeling your struggles, when this person comes back from your past, they're going to test you. It is a test, all right? Of course, they're going to try to get back. But once you pass that test, you're going to feel even stronger, okay? You're going to feel even more confident. And I'm telling you, something about that is 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 triggering something in the universe to bring this person in. Because you're going to get out. You're going to feel good. You're going to be like, I did that. I'm done here. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. You're going to get out. And then the universe is going to bring that person into you. Okay? I love this for you. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel Oracle cards. I love it. Yep, so this person, of course, they're going to try to come back, but they did too much. They betrayed you with someone else. And it was more than one person, but one in particular was like, that was the icing on the cake. Like, that was it. Like, you, that was in on the coffin. Show me the messages for Leo, please. Love. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yes. Just a reminder, but you already know that because you're not... <laughs> I feel like this unrequited love is you. You pull back your emotions from this person. And you don't care how good they look or anything. You're not falling for it. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, Spirit wants you to get out and be out there. Just be the fabulous person that you are. So when you um, get in invitations, accept them. Okay? Pay attention to the red flags, the signs of caution in you in regards to that person that's coming back around. All right? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. That's at the bottom of the deck. Show me a couple more. For Leo, before we close out this reading. Free yourself. It's, it's time to take control of your life. Yeah. Because you've moved on from this person and you're standing your ground. But you really need to get this person completely out of your energy. It may even require a, co a cord cutting ceremony. You can Google that. Because that's how deeply embedded this person is in your energy. The toxicity of this connection. You may have to do that. Um, you're going to have to cut off access for, to this person to you know of this person to you because this person may just pop up at your door if you like got them blocked because some of you i feel like you got this person blocked but they're going to show up chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here yeah this is a this this chemistry is i feel like this is this person that's coming back there is a strong chemistry between you two and that's why it was hard to let this person go with the devil reverse um but remember, you know, chemistry can also create an explosion. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want that. You don't want a connection. I mean, you want a connection. You don't want an attachment. Remember that. That flew out. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, there's this person that's coming in. Like I said, when you release this other person, this is someone familiar, guys. Okay, this is not completely new. This is somebody familiar. This is somebody that you already know. All right. Wow, this is a romance of a lifetime, true love. Okay. This is somebody that you know, and you're like, when you when you when you get with this person, you're gonna be like, damn, it was you all along, you know? And here you were all this time. And the universe is bringing this person to you. Like, it's all divine time and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yep. So, you know, this person is going to come in. This is going to be a test. And once you, you, you pass this test, the universe is going to bring in this new person. This person is going to come back. Again, one of the indicators is that this is somebody that was a part of your community. Something about your neighborhood or your hometown or something connected to that. And this is connected to some sort of celebration, some sort of gathering, some sort of get together. Something where it brings other people together and then this person is going to show up. All right, so I love this for you, Leo. I'm sorry to hear about all that you've been through. I, I do wish you this healing, new love and light. Um, if, again, if this reading resonates, press the like button. If you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. Um, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.